Today's news about sturgeon spearing, five days down and only one more to go for spearers across northeast Wisconsin. For more on the sturgeon that we're taking today, we go back to Drew in the Sports Center. Uh, it's getting very close and one more day for only the second time in the last six years, the sturgeon season failed to make it to the second weekend. Tomorrow will be the final day on the ice on both Lake Winnebago and the Up River Lakes. Both will be open. Today, the 90% cap number was triggered for adult females, falling just 17 shy of ending the season altogether. With a relatively quick season this year, good news for those who have already pulled in the prize. For those who haven't, still one last chance. Martin Ross has more from the ice. The 78th sturgeon spearing season will end at 12.30 Thursday afternoon after just six days of open season. The news isn't surprising to spears on Lake Winnebago still in search of their scale-tipping sturgeon for the season. I think the excitement of the, the bigger fish has got more people spending more time in their shacks. Witness that 212-pounder that was taken and so many really big sturgeon. Greg and Andy Ebel think the spearing season is closing so soon because of the conditions on Lake Winnebago. Well, I think it's basically because of the water clarity, people can see the fish. Well, we've had uh, a lot of years with good clear water, but this one is exceptional. I mean, we can see down there 14 feet, you can see a nickel down there if it's heads or tails. And the ice quality is good. People can get out here and they feel safe being out here too. 47-year-old Paul Schneider of Fond du Lac has a different take. Schneider believes the Spears' ability to move across Lake Winnebago has sped up the season. Well, I think the mobility of the shanties, the newer shanties, and the, the ability to move around to where there is clean water and to where they are spearing fish um, helps out. Communications with cell phones and, and radios and that type of thing helps out also to zero in on where the fish are being taken.